WIS Columbia, the station you count on for local news. This is WIS News 10's News Watch. Good morning. Welcome to News Watch. I'm Ben Hoover. Millions of federal dollars that help children and families in other states isn't making its way into South Carolina. The money is for a program called Temporary Assistance to Needy Families. And joining us this morning to explain the program and why South Carolina is losing out is Tom Keith from the Sisters of Charity. Sir, thank you for being here. Great to be here, Ben. I'm not going to lie about this. This is a, a complicated thing, this, this TANF program, this temporary uh, assistance to needy families. I read over the details of this. Very complicated. Basically, it's a federal w welfare to work program. Right. It passed in 1996. And then it was reauthorized in 2005, and soon it's going to become it's going to come up for another reauthorization in 2010, and we'll talk about that. Um, it is your opinion that South Carolina got a raw deal when this program was passed and then reauthorized? Absolutely. How so? Well, in a couple of ways. One is that the original uh, formula used back in 1996 was based on the state's ability to draw down money, uh, and wealthier states with a greater tax base like California. Um, States like Alaska, for example, were able to draw down more money than a poorer state with a uh, with a smaller tax base than South Carolina. What do you mean by draw down money? Well, what do you mean by that? Uh, that uh, that's the states were required to put up match money to the federal government and then draw down resources for purposes like TANF. Here so in South states Carolina. states that were willing that that were able to to draw down more money uh, made off better than states that were not right. able to do that. Right. Okay. Uh, and what happened was, uh, through, throughout the years, even during the reauthorization, and we're talking about approximately $16 billion nationally, that uh, as need continued to increase in the, in the South, for example, not only South Carolina, but Georgia, Mississippi, and other states, uh, the formula was still based on the, the ability to match. And we think that needs to be changed in order to really accommodate the needs of states like South Carolina moving forward. So so what got lost in the shuffle? How is a program that's supposed to help needy people, poor people, how is it not based on need and 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 it's based on how much money a state can right. what got what got what happened? Well, I here? think uh what happened was that um well, what has happened is it has become political mm -hmm. and that you have large states like California, New York and Connecticut that have strong congressional delegations that don't want to change things. And so the formula in good faith years ago was based on, you know, your ability to bring down money now does not apply, but it's difficult to change things when some states are benefiting greatly from the old formula while poor, while poor states are still continue to struggle. Okay, so basically when this was going on back in 1996 and they were debating this uh, at the, at the, uh, the, in the nation's capital, uh, low-income states, especially southern states, right. uh, they were up in arms about this. They, they were not very happy about it. They, they, they threatened to pull support of this legislation. Right. And so they, so they started this supplemental right. program, is that correct? And still in the supplemental program, In the supplemental, South Carolina, we, uh, we just missed the cutoff, just barely, and, and that was to appease some of the the states that were were not going to benefit greatly from uh, from the formula, South Carolina fell through the cracks on that. Um, and what, what, what is it about South Carolina that did not meet? The, well, I think there was a, a, an area there, and and one of your other guests may be able to address yeah. this a little more uh, well, uh, close closely later. Uh -huh. But uh, they, it was based on a percentage. Um, that um, that South Carolina just barely fa uh, failed to meet, okay. and so they, therefore, they weren't even uh, able to uh, acquire supplemental funding. And it's estimated that over the years, South Carolina has probably lost in the neighborhood of 150 million dollars in revenue that they could have garnered mm -hmm. uh, using a different formula. As we said, you do not work for the state. And, I don't. And we're going to have some folks on from DSS here coming up. Uh, you were, you're with Sisters of Charity. Foundation. You, yeah. you're, you're very passionate about this. You've, wrote, you've written some, some op-ed pieces in the newspapers about it. Right. How, how is this affecting what you do at Sisters of, Sisters of Charity? Well, the Sisters of Charity Foundation is a grant-making foundation in business uh, for, founded by the Sisters in the 1990s for the sole purpose of addressing poverty issues in South Carolina. So we're very passionate about it because it's our mission to, uh, to care for and s find ways to serve 
the needy, the poor, the underserved population of South Carolina. And if this whole thing changes the way it should, it will have a significant impact on South Carolina's families and children moving forward, millions mm -hmm. of dollars, which will allow them to live uh, in better in, in a better, better circumstances, allow them to gain employment, allow them to uh, acquire child care, and all the kinds of things that we need for poorer families to move forward. What is the money used for? Uh, so many people think welfare, and they think handout, they think crutch. Right. Um, but, but as we mentioned, this TANF is a welfare to work. Right. It is, is there a percentage is, that goes just for people to get by, and then a percentage that goes to... I think to, uh, it, it is intended for uh, the purpose of individuals and families to um, move ahead in areas of job training, uh, of employment, uh, of education, uh, you know, and then to avoid some of those barriers that might occur when, uh, such as child care or such as transportation, if a person can't get to work or they can't get somebody to take care of their children, it assists them with that as well. Do you have any help from other charities? I, I know you're very outspoken about it. That's why you're on this show here this right. morning. But uh, have you have you been able to get any support in, in from other? We're, yeah. we're going to speak uh, in a few weeks uh, to the Southeastern Council of Foundations, other grant makers, and there are about uh, uh, 150 foundations that will be represented, a, represented at this meeting in 11 southern states, about 600 people attending. And our goal is to garner momentum around this issue for Mississippi, for Alabama, for uh, North Carolina, for uh, Kentucky, and other southern states are in the same boat as South Carolina mm -hmm. with a chance to gain more money to serve this needy population. Of course, we're uh, in this recession, even though uh, some folks say that we're, you know, we're pulling out of it now. Uh, how much worse uh, did it get in the past year, year and a half uh, for the families th that you help? Well, I think uh, it's, you know, what is happening, we'll see that people whose unemployment uh, have, have been getting unemployment support, when that runs out, they'll have no alternative than to turn to support from TANF. Mm -hmm. And so the demand, you know, if you look around this community and you see our food banks and our free medical clinics and our homeless shelters, shelters gaining in, uh, in use and capacity, need for uh, capa extended capacity, uh, certainly uh, the demand has and will continue to grow up for, uh, grow for TANF funds uh, because of the, the economy. As you mentioned, you're trying to gain some moment, momentum leading into 2010. This, this is going to go for reauthorization right. in front of Congress again. And, of course, some people who you are working with closely would be the folks at DSS. Right. And coming up next on Newswatch, we're going to have some representatives from DSS to talk about how South Carolina has done uh, through this, through this TANF program, and what's being done to get it passed in 2010. That's when Newswatch continues. We'll be right back.